Sky concept, Megacity is best defined as a metropolitan area that has a total population in excess of 10 million people whom accordingly emphasizes life in the future. There are numerous exquisite megacities in sci-fi literature, but from my own perspective I believe they need a visual medium to truly do them justice. Here, we present a real good example for a city in the sky of the future by Sveden Toshkov, a visionary architect who demonstrates the sky is not the limit for his imagination as he goes beyond it, exploring new ideas and features. Recently, Sveden unveiled a challenging concept for a futuristic city that looks promising for sustainable tomorrow. The Lotus-inspired city, far above any familiar skyscrapers, is still under development, presents an imagery long beloved sustainable vision with steep perspectives of a frictionless, super shiny and super clean city. In the city in the sky, live, work, shopping, entertainment and educational spaces are all built into the layers of this futuristic urban design. The cultural life of this self-contained city is focused internally at the structural forms of the rising lotus flower stalks, which ring them speak to and have views out to the surrounding area. Our circular economy concept, Christoph Clean City. The Clean City solution from Christoph Industries is a master plan for an integrated waste management concept for cities and regions that want to increase their sustainability, reduce their CO2 emissions, and make waste disposal superfluous. This ambitious plan brings together new products and new sources of energy. Thanks to these breakthrough technologies, cities can make a major contribution to the environment and the quality of life of their people. This creates a circular economy. Christoph Industries has developed the Clean City Plan over the past decade. The focus was on the effort to supplement more than a century of experience with modern know-how and the latest technologies. A team of 50 experts is still pursuing the goal of realizing a circular economy, where economically and environmentally mature waste-to-value projects make a zero-waste solution a reality. The importance of the circular economy is illustrated using an ideal city scenario, resources are used optimally in all recycling phases in order to ultimately achieve a zero-waste solution. unveils oceanic city concept for floating villages that can withstand hurricanes. Architecture firm Big has designed a concept for a floating city of 10,000 people that could help populations threatened by extreme weather events and rising sea levels. Big founder Jark Ingalls unveiled the scheme yesterday at a roundtable discussion on floating cities at the United Nations' New York headquarters. Called Oceanic City, the concept consists of buoyant islands clustered together in groups of six to form villages. These clusters would then be repeated in multiples of six to form a 12-hectare village for 1,650 residents, and then again to form an archipelago home to 10,000 citizens. Oceanic City comprises hexagonal modules that can be built up to accommodate up to 10,000 residents. We've based it on this modular idea of a hexagonal island, Ingalls said in the presentation at the roundtable. It has the omnidirection of a circle, but it has the modularity and rationality of something man-made. <music> Woven City Toyota's Living Laboratory Toyota are building a new city at the base of Mount Fuji. The 175-acre site will be brought to life by Danish architect George Kingles. Plans were announced in January 2020 and construction started early 2021. Electricity generated by hydrogen-powered fuel cells will be the main energy supply, similar to the technology used for the groundbreaking Mirai. 
this woven city, its name a nod to Toyota's roots and how technology of the future will be woven into the fabric, is envisioned as a living laboratory. Although the city will initially be home to around 360 residents, mainly senior citizens and families, eventually the population will increase to 2,000. This number will include Toyota employees and researchers who will be able to test and develop technologies such as artificial intelligence in a real-world environment. Future City of the Philippines Powered by Waste to Energy Technology the future city of the Philippines includes the design of two major projects, the urban development of Millennium City and a waste-to-energy facility located in Barangay Balayan, Batangas. Its 44,000 SQM total land area fragments into 14 land use and 11 districts, populated by numerous structures inspired by metamodern and neo-futurist architecture. Located roughly 70 kilometers outside the capital city of Manila, a combination of four major cities and 11 municipalities in southern Luzon envisioned to form the Philippines' model city of the future, one entirely powered by waste materials. At the core of its planning and design approach are the principles of inclusivity, futurism, resilience, and sustainability. Trojina, all there is to know about the fantastic mountain destination. Your handy guide to the $500 billion city of the future. There's a new winter wonderland coming to the kingdom and it's not at Riyadh season. Neom's Trojina will be an outdoor ski resort in NEOM, Saudi Arabia. And the mega project will be the GCC's first outdoor ski resort with a man-made lake. Are you ready to hit the slopes? Trojina S poised to be a new global destination for mountain tourism, and it will be a year-round tourist spot that offers unique wintry experiences that those in desert climates in the Gulf region would likely never have had before locally. Prep your ski jacket! The new development is part of the larger $500 billion NEOM project. Visitors to Trojina will be able to enjoy a ski village along with a range of sports, including a ski slope and mountain biking, as well as water sports. There will also be an area called The Vault, which will be a vertical village comprised of restaurants and retail stores for those looking to do a bit of shopping, as well as other facilities. Tencent is building a Monaco-sized city of the future in Shenzhen. Technology giant Tencent has unveiled plans for an almost entirely car-free city of the future, equivalent in size to Monaco, in the Chinese metropolis of Shenzhen. Dubbed Net City, the 2 million square meter, 22 million square foot urban development will prioritize pedestrians, green spaces, and self-driving vehicles, according to its designers. The ambitious city within a city is set to occupy a stretch of reclaimed land jetting out into the Pearl River estuary. Designed to accommodate a population of some 80,000 people, the site will primarily serve Tencent, the conglomerate behind WeChat and China's popular QQ messaging service. But as well as providing company residences and offices, the neighborhood is expected to host shops, schools, and other public amenities, and will be connected to the rest of Shenzhen via road bridges, ferries, and the city's subway system. The American firm behind the master plan, NBBJ, hopes that the new district's entertainment venues, parks, and waterside promenade will attract visitors from elsewhere in the city. Eco-Atlantic City, Nigeria The city of Lagos in Nigeria is one of the fastest expanding urban areas in the world and planets have been looking for ways to redesign regions fit for the future while at the same time helping to preserve what's already there. Eco-Atlantic City is one of the most ambitious developments taking place anywhere on Earth and will create an incredible space to supercharge the local economy for decades. To come covering an area of almost 4 square miles the entire city is. 
actually being built on a newly created peninsula attached to the Victoria Island district of Lagos which has required millions of cubic yards worth of materials and tens of thousands of tons worth of rocks to be reclaimed from the Atlantic to form it surrounded by a five-mile wall designed to protect the land from being eroded by the ocean its presence is also expected to slow down erosion further along the coast which will protect other parts of Lagos to split into 10 separate districts once. Its complete eco-Atlantic city is expected to be home to a quarter of a million residents, most of whom will commute into Lagos each day for work. All structures will be built with environmental standards in mind, with the plan being that the power usage will be provided by green sources on the peninsula itself, and there are hopes that it will also become a tourist destination in its own right. Akon to build futuristic $6 billion Akon City in Uganda Rapper Akon has announced that he's planning on building a second city in Africa, named Akon City, which will operate using Akon's own cryptocurrency, a coin. Akon has been building a city in his native country of Senegal over the last few years, for which he secured $6 billion, for .3 billion pounds, funding. Construction in Akon City, Uganda is scheduled to complete in 2036 and has the backing of the Ugandan government, which announced that it has allotted one square mile of land for Akon City Part 2. According to Uganda's NBS TV, both Senegal's Akon City and Akon City in Uganda will operate using a coin. Akon City Senegal will use a smart cities approach, a combination of the Internet of Things, IoT, devices, software solutions, user interfaces, UI, and communication networks. Akon City Uganda will likely also employ a smart city approach and is expected to feature futuristic shopping malls, stadiums, and recreational facilities like its sister city some 3,000 miles away. Investing in space Elon Musk wants SpaceX to reach Mars so humanity is not a single planet species. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk remains focused on his vision for the company, establishing a permanent human presence on Mars, with its Starship rockets carrying people to and from the Red Planet. We don't want to be one of those single planet species, we want to be a multi-planet species, Musk said on Friday speaking after the company launched its Crew-2 mission to orbit. It's been now almost half a century since humans were last on the moon. That's too long. We need to get back there and have a permanent base on the moon, again, like a big permanently occupied base on the moon. And then build a city on Mars to become a spacefaring civilization, a multi-planet species, Musk also said. Starship is the enormous stainless steel rocket that SpaceX has been building and testing at its development facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Starship's goal is to launch cargo and people on missions to the Moon and Mars. Current Starship prototypes stand at about 150 feet tall, or about the size of a 15-story building, and each one is powered by three Raptor rocket engines. <laughs> 